Hi friends, so welcome back to my channel. So in uh, today's video, we'll be looking into the zoom gesture, uh, where we'll be zooming in and zooming out of an element. Earlier in this uh, series of uh, W3C actions, we have seen uh, what is W3C actions, how to perform tap gesture, how to perform swipe gesture in the different directions. And uh, we have also seen in our last video uh, how to perform drag and drop uh, of one element to another element. If you are new to my channel, uh, my name is Vasik Bamla. I create uh, videos related to testing, test automation and tips and tricks related to test automation on this channel. So let's start with today's video. So let's understand uh, the zoom gesture, how we will be performing this gesture and uh, we, how we will be building this uh, gesture. So first we will focus on zoom in. So zoom in, in basically will just uh, zooming in in the image and uh, that uh, action will be performed by uh, moving uh, our first finger towards the left direction and uh, our second finger will be moving towards the right direction and both these fingers will be moving uh, in the opposite directions uh, simultaneously so that's how we will be uh, emulating the zoom in gesture now to understand how to derive the coordinates for the starting position and ending position firstly we will uh, identify the center of the image and from that center of the image we will reduce the x coordinates for the, the first finger uh, by few pixels and we will increase the x coordinates for uh, the second finger by few pixels so that way both the fingers will be a little bit apart uh, on the starting position and then both the fingers will move uh, in the opposite directions from each other so that's how we'll uh, emulate the zoom in gesture for the zoom out zoom out is nothing but the pinch gesture pinch means uh, both the fingers will start from the edges of the image basically first finger will start from the left side of the image and the second finger will start from the right side of the image and both these fingers will come towards each other and meet towards the center of the image so this is how the zoom out gesture will occur now let's check out the implementation of the code for zoom in and zoom out so the first method we will be looking in uh, is the zoom in method so this method has two parameters the first parameter is the element which is nothing but the image in which we will be zooming in and uh, the second parameter is distance so how by how much distance our fingers will move from center towards the edges of the element and we have used this method uh, in uh, this uh, android test as well as in ios test where we are uh, calling the zoom in method and zoom out method so first in this method we'll uh, identify the center of the element by calling the get swipe start position so if we look into this uh, method uh, get swipe start position we are identifying the center of the element by calling this uh, get element center so first we'll identify the center of the element and after identifying the center we'll identify the starting position for both the fingers start one is the starting position for the first finger and start two is uh, the starting position of the second finger so as we have seen in the diagram, uh, we will be reducing the x coordinates of the first finger by 50 pixels and we will be increasing the x coordinates of the second finger by 50 pixels. That way at the starting position, both these fingers will be few pixels apart. Now next we will identify the ending positions of the both the fingers. So the first finger will be moving towards the left direction. So we'll be identifying the left coordinate for the end coordinates of the first finger. And the second finger will be moving towards the right direction of the element. And that's so by calling this method, we'll be identifying the end position for the second finger, which will be ending towards the right of the image. So here we have uh, printed all the uh, values which we have identified and here we are creating a sequence for the first finger and we are identifying the sequence for the second finger. So basically this is nothing but uh, it will perform the swipe action using the first finger and so this is uh, finger one is the name of the finger which is uh, given as finger one and uh, this uh, finger two is uh, given the name as finger two and here this parameter is the starting position where uh, i am passing start one and this is the end position which i am passing as end end one similarly for sequence two i am passing start two as the starting position for finger two and the end two is the ending position for second finger so that's how both the sequences are uh, created and uh, while performing this action i am calling driver.perform 
and uh, i am passing the list of both these sequence so what will happen when the perform method executes it will execute both these finger gestures uh, simultaneously in parallel so that's how the zoom gesture will be emulated now if we look into the zoom out method uh, this method is uh, almost identical to zoom in method the only difference is when we are uh, building the sequence for both the fingers the values of start position and end position is swapped here so here the end position will become the starting position and the start position will become the ending position so that's how we'll be performing the zoom out gesture so let's quickly execute the android test and see how this uh, zoom gesture looks when it gets executed on the device This is how zooming and uh, zoom in and zoom out was working. So that's it for this video. So that's it for this uh, quick video on uh, zoom gestures. Hope you like the video. Do share your thoughts and comments uh, in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like the video and uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more such videos on this channel. Check out this video next, uh, which you may find useful, uh, which I have created on this channel. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.